In this video I'm going to do uh, question 1H from the short answer questions from the Oxford uh, MAT from 2017. Uh, it's actually a question about the remainder uh, theorem here and the factor theorem which if you've read the website uh, recently you'll see has been taken off of the syllabus for the MAT for next year so you won't get a question exactly like this but I'm still going to do it for completeness and for the style of the of the questions that you might expect to see. So it says a and B are real numbers, A is non-zero. Now we've got a polynomial that says when it's divided by X plus B the remainder is equal to 1 and uh, another polynomial that has AX minus 1 as a factor and then it says uh, what can we conclude about B here. Well, when this polynomial is divided by x plus b, the remainder is 1, so the remainder theorem tells us that, uh, you know, for that one, f of minus b equals 1. So I plug minus b into this polynomial and get b squared plus 2ab plus a to the power of 4 is equal to 1. And if ax minus 1 is a factor, uh, you can rearrange ax minus 1 equals 0 to get x equals 1 over a, uh, and that means that 1 over a uh, is a root of this polynomial, so b times 1 over a squared plus 1 over a plus 1 must equal 0. So here I've got b over uh, a squared plus 1 over a plus 1 is 0. Multiplying through by a squared, I get b plus a plus a squared equals 0. And so I can substitute uh, here, okay, b equals minus a minus a squared back into uh, into here so I've got uh, minus a plus a squared squared plus 2a times minus a minus a squared plus a to the 4 equals 1 this gives me a squared uh, oh so there's a minus in here uh, so I get a squared plus 2a cubed plus a to the 4 uh, minus 2a cubed, so they cancel out, um, and minus 2a squared plus a to the 4 equals 1, so I've got 2a to the 4 uh, minus a squared minus 1 uh, equals 0, and uh, then you can either factorize this or use the formula, whatever you want to do here. You should be uh, so. Of course, this is a disguised quadratic. It's a quadratic in a squared. So if you want to, you could also think of it as you know, two y squared minus y minus one equals zero, where y equals a squared. But let's just factorize it with the a squared in place. So I get uh, two a squared plus one times a squared minus 1 equals 0. So this means that, uh, oh, I'm running out of space here, uh, either a squared is minus a half uh, from the first uh, factor, uh, that's not possible. If a is going to be a real number, uh, so we must have that a squared is 1. Uh, so that means that we have um, a equals plus or minus 1. Okay, so I'm going to use this little bit of space in here so I can keep it all on one page. If a is plus or minus 1, uh, then we know that b equals minus a minus a squared. So if a is plus 1, this gives us minus 1 minus 1, which is minus 2. And if it's minus 1, it gives us plus 1 minus 1, which is 0. So the answer is b, uh, 0 or minus 2. So a bit of algebra involved there. I'm not sure if there's a faster way of doing it, but... You know, if you uh, you know, you've got to count a few, few minutes to do each question, so you know you should be able to for a question like this just whiz through the algebra. If anything, I'm slowed down slightly by talking it through here. Um, hope that was useful. Keep watching the rest of this uh, playlist, and I'll go through the rest of the paper.